Rome, AFP, Britain's Chris Froome completed a sensational comeback to win the Giro d'Italia on Sunday for a rare Grand Tour treble which could be in danger if he is sanctioned by anti-doping authorities. Froome, 33, became the first Briton to win the race in the Giro's 101-year history after a 115 km closed-circuit race through the streets of the Italian capital. But his presence was not without controversy as he was competing despite an ongoing investigation after returning an adverse analytical finding during his tour of Spain win last year. His triumph on Rome's Imperial Forums, where Ireland's Sam Bennett took the 21st and final stage, capped a long chaotic journey for the Briton. From the departure in Jerusalem, a historical novelty of this gyro, to the Alps of Piedmont and Valle d'Aosta, the four-time Tour de France winner endured what he called the greatest battle of my career, sitting fourth overall three days before the finish, from seized the race leader's pink jersey on Friday after capping a 80km solo breakaway with a stage win, and held it all the way to Rome. Frome is now the reigning champion in all three of cycling's Grand Tours, the Giro d'Italia, Tour de France and Tour of Spain, and becomes only the third rider to achieve the feat after Belgian Eddy Merckx, 1972-73, and France's Bernard Hinault, 1982-83, I'm still pinching myself. I can't believe I'm here, said Frome. This is the dream to have all three jerseys in the space of 10 months. It's an incredible feeling, a bit afraid, from finished 46 seconds ahead of defending champion Tom Dumoulin, son Webb, of the Netherlands in the overall standings, with Colombian Miguel Angel Lopez, Astana, third at 4 minutes 57 seconds, I don't think it's quite sunk in yet. I hope it will over the next three days, added Frome, who was competing in the Italian race for the first time in eight years, I've always been a bit a afraid of coming here. The demands of the race are so different than any other race. To be here and to have won it I can't quite believe it for a rider Bennett sprinted to victory in the 21st and final stage, his third of this year's race, after pipping four-stage winner Elia Viviani, quick step at the line. Room's maiden gyro triumph has also set up the possibility he could target a rare gyro d'Italia Tour de France double in the same calendar year, the last achieved by Italian rider Marco Pantana in 1998 but his stunning success is partly overshadowed by controversy as the British rider continues to compete despite an ongoing anti-doping investigation. Frome provided an adverse analytical finding in his urine for double the permitted amount of the asthma drug salbutamol when he won the Tour of Spain last year. The Briton has a therapeutic use exemption, Tuesday, allowing him to use salbutamol and escape a provisional suspension, although the case has yet to be resolved by cycling's world ruling body the UCI, his victory was nevertheless impressive. Frome fell twice including before the first stage and at one point trailed the leaders by nearly five minutes. But he powered back in the final week, winning two mountain stages including the prestigious 14th stage to the summit of Monte Zonkolen. His memorable solo effort on stage 19 was pivotal, Frome taking the pink jersey after longtime leader and fellow Britain Simon Yates, Mitchelton, suffered a stunning collapse. The Tour de France winner put himself on the brink of victory in the 20th and penultimate stage when he led Dumoulin by 46 seconds. And he defended his overall lead Sunday through the essentially flat streets past some of Rome's iconic landmarks. It's great to be able to soak up the atmosphere on the road, the movements and the crowds, said from of the stage which neutralized with seven laps to go for security reasons leaving him to just cross the line to ensure victory.